morning guys how are you today it's finally October and hopefully in the next few weeks it'll start feeling more like fall around here this morning I'm going to plant up a couple of pots near the front of our entryway but before I do that I wanted to show you the zinnias before we pull them up I was gonna pull them up this weekend and move the sprinkler uh, like I said, I was going to do back, what, March, April, but I just couldn't bear to pull them up yet because they still look so beautiful. They're spilling over the walkway, and if you live in Zone 9 and you get really long, hot summers, these are a superb performer. I've never had any problems with them. In the beginning, I think the airwaves got to them a little bit, but other than that, they haven't really had many pest problems, except for we did have a few grasshoppers, and we normally don't have grasshoppers in our yard, uh, but I saw several small ones, and I made sure we got rid of those, because <laughs> I didn't know if they were gonna be eating on any of these, but outside of the earwigs in the beginning, they've just, I, I mean, every year I've been planting them here, and every year I keep thinking in the spring and summer, I'm going to change it up, but when I see the result at the end of August, September, when this year we've had almost, almost, I think 60 days of over 100 degree heat, that's almost double what we normally have. So if you live somewhere where it's really hot, I would highly suggest these. I'm not sure if I mentioned before I started potting these up that I did purchase these pots about two or three years ago at one of the big box stores. They are made of stone and they're super heavy. We had to bring them out here with a dolly because I normally have them planted up on my back patio, but I pulled the hydrangeas off the uh, stepping stone where I had those and moved those to a different location so I could put these fall planters in. The plants I used were Baby Jim, Foxwood, but I think it's Bonita Begonia, uh, Carex, a flowering cabbage and kale, and some pansies. I packed it pretty full because once the temperatures start cooling down, your plants and your flowers, they just don't grow as vigorous as they do come spring and summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon.